What's going on guys, the CTA Prime back here again with the Mochi i7s gaming smartphone and today we're going to be testing out 10 Dreamcast games running in the ReDream emulator. And by the way, I will be upscaling these to 1280 by 960 but some of these games may need to be scaled back so keep that in mind. We are upping the resolution for these tests here. If you're not familiar with the Mochi i7s, basically what we have here is an Android based gaming phone with controls built in as you can see. I do have a full review video and I'll leave a link to that in the description. I've also created a video testing out 10 GameCube games. That'll also be down there if you're interested. But before we get into any gameplay here, I do want to give you a quick spec refresh. So for the CPU, we have the 8 core Snapdragon 710, 6 cores at 1.7, 2 at 2.2. The GPU is the Arduino 615 at 650 megahertz. 6 gigabytes of LPDDR4 at 1866 megahertz a 6-inch 1080p IPS display, 64 gigabytes of internal storage, plus a micro SD card slot, good up to 256 gigs. And finally, for the operating system, this is running Android 8.1, but they do have plans to upgrade to Android 9. So first up, we have Shenmue. Up in the top left-hand corner of the screen is the FPS counter that's built in to Redream. I'm going to go ahead and leave the box art on screen for each one of these games so you know what's playing at any given time. I will cut in every once in a while if there's something going on in a game that I need to explain. And then they threw me out of the dojo. The black suits catch the names. I... capsules. A hundred yen each, huh? I should buy one. Unfortunately, I have noticed some slowdowns with Ikaruka when there's a lot of explosions on screen, but like I mentioned, we are upscaled and I'm pretty sure we'd be alright if we went back down to the stock resolution. So here's Sonic Adventure 2, and every once in a while I do notice a slowdown. I have seen it go as low as 52 FPS, but I really didn't feel it in-game. It was just for a split second, and if that FPS counter wasn't on, I wouldn't have ever noticed it.
without purpose. Take hold of them as you leap, and they will carry you across this chasm. So overall, the Mochi i7s handles Dreamcast really well with ReDream. You could also try Raycast. Now, I personally haven't tested it for Dreamcast games, but I did run some of Thomas Wave and Naomi, and they run at full speed on this device. And another thing to keep in mind is that ReDream is relatively new to the Android scene. It's been on PC for a little while. It hasn't been on Android for that long. There's constantly new updates, so performance will increase over time. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I had a few people ask me to make this video, so I figured I'd go ahead and put it out. Like I mentioned, I do have a full review on the Mochi i7s, so definitely check that out. And if you want to see some GameCube running on this device, link is also down below. It'd be really cool if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel. But like always, thanks for watching.